Club and we are back at the Secret Beach location in New Jersey, undisclosed location, but there are shells everywhere and we're gonna go get them right now. So I am here with Patty, who's kind of lost in the fog down there. Kim, who is on the shoreline right there collecting and my sister Tracy, who is also on the shoreline. And then Kim, who was gracious enough to invite us down here, is also shelling with us today. So, so, so amazing here. So unbelievable here. I'm loving everything that we're finding, that we're seeing. So unlike Plum Island, I don't know if you can see it through the fog, but they rope off their sections of the dunes here for the nesting clovers. So on Plum Island, we close the beaches down completely. You're not even allowed to step on the sand in the sections of the beach where the clovers are nesting. But here where we are, they actually rope off the dunes, so the rest of the beach we still have access to. But look at what an amazing morning it is. So glad that you're with us here shelling today. So nice, this shark guy. Ugh, that looks so cool. Love all the colors. Great shark guy. Awesome find. A nice arc shell. Beautiful arc shell. I am definitely loving all of the different species we are finding here. It's so much fun. Got another shark guy score here. Woo! Oh, look at this. Ahaha! Ha. Look at that. I love this shell so much. Look at that. Let me wipe it off some more. I love this shell so much because of the contrast. Look at that, look at that contrast. There's that little lobe covering in the back that lets us know you are in fact a shark eye. And we have more whelk pieces down here. Keep going. More of these arc shells. The black scallops that we love so much that we've been collecting. Finding really cool blue. Let's see if I can clean this off a little bit. Blue slipper shells that are really nice. And pieces of whelk this morning, but no whelk score as of yet. Nothing like those massive whelks we found in the last video. If you didn't get a chance to see that, go back and check it out. But we found a couple awesome whelk scores in that video. So we're hoping to get that today. Looky, looky here. So excited. Look at this. Oh, it does have a little bit of a break in it, but you know what? I love the show. Hold on, I'm getting a text from my sister, which means they must have found something amazing. Be right back. Okay, so Tracy and Kim just texted me. I'm heading down to them. They are right there, lost in the fog. They might have found a whelk score. So let's go check out and see. Hopefully it is intact. I'm putting all the good vibes, the good beachy vibes and energy out there. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we are here. And here is the possible whelk score. That looks like it is in really good condition. Tracy, go in, make the score. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, oh nobody's home. That is fair it. game. Tracy. That is incredible. That is so cool. Oh my God. It is gorgeous. That is an amazing show. <gasps> I got to zoom in on that. This is what we came here for. We are so excited. This is like exceeded, like, right? Exceeded. I'm <laughs> speechless. I am absolutely speechless. Exceeded all of our expectations. It can't get any better than this, seriously. What a great day. So you have great shouts, great people, having fun. 
Tim is here. And Patty and Kim are lost in the fog somewhere <laughs> on the beach, but this is amazing. This is thanks to Kim, you have to say. This is thanks to thanks Kim. Thanks to Kim. Thank you so Yay! Much. Awesome score. Amazing, amazing show. <laughs> this is Shelltastic. Wow. All right, I have to give it back to my sister now because this is her shelf for sure. But I just wanted to make sure everybody got a really great look at it. Okay, shelling forward. And another shark eye. It's cool because, ah, oh, this one's busted, but look at that. Look at that collar. Busted, but beautiful, and a, and I am gonna add this as part of our collection from the air, just because it is so beautiful. Just because of all those blues and oranges. And all of those detailed markings and I really like that little chocolatey whirl. This is going right in my bag. Kim found a little something. Everybody's finding a little something today. What do you got Kim? Oh man! I didn't even know you could find these here. I had no idea. Why did you find something else? I'm ready. I'm ready. All your attention focused on me. I would like to see what you found, please. What? Hello! That is so cool. I know. That looks like a giant blueberry. Yeah, look at this one. Look at the colors on that. Let me see. These shark eyes, like... I know. Like, I haven't been finding, like, a lot of them, but then today I showed up in, like, they're in a lot of places. I'm trying to focus oh, on this. Well, Hold on one second, I have too many things in my hand, I have to put something down. So here is the other shark eye that Kim found. And we are gonna go find some more. So look at this. This is a piece of shell, but it was a piece of fused oyster. So this is a northern oyster. So this is a northern oyster right here, but it looks like it had a piece of ribbed muscle that was fused to it. And when it left it behind, and when it broke off, all of that cool shimmery nacre is still attached to it there. So it's like one shell, but two shells. It's like two shells in one. It's a bonus shell. When I find something like this, I feel like I like won a prize or something. So many cool things on this beach. I just said to my sister, I said, usually like my feet go in like a straight line down the beach, but like on this beach, I'm like down there and I'm over here and then I'm up there. So it's like, there's no like consistent pattern as to where I am. I'm like all over the place because it's like a candy store here. Look, I'm gonna show you what these. Do you have? What do you have? Oh, the rib muscles. Yeah. Oh, and look then at that's that like a fossil. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Wow, yeah. That's what I just found one of those earlier. You did? Yeah. It's so cool. It is like a like a two in one shell. But yeah, right down All there. Right, let's bring it together I and say, like... please. Please. So wait, what are you doing? You're asking the ocean. I'm asking the ocean and the universe for this to be the ultimate find of the weekend. And if it is, I'll owe you one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I don't even want to. I don't. I don't know. Oh my God! It's hard to get up. It's that's a good sign. Is it whole? Is it? Mm. Oh. But it's still nice, though. That bums me out, though, Kim. We got to get you one. So I am here with Kim. She invited us down for this amazing weekend, and she just scored this amazing piece of star coral. This is definitely a bucket list item for me to find. Super excited about that. We are having such a banner day today. I am so thrilled to be here. So we also have some egg casings here. And I'm not sure if these are knobbed whelk egg casings or if they are channeled whelk 
egg casings, but you can see each one of these pouches contain a bunch of baby whelks. So like you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see in there because it's super sunny, but in a couple of videos on the Cape when we were there, we opened some that we knew were no longer viable. Um, these I am not sure about. They do still feel kind of spongy and moist. So I'm gonna pop these back in the water just in case. They usually attach themselves to like a rock or the ocean floor and then they kind of float in the water until they hatch and release all of the baby whelks. So that's typically how it would be in the ocean. So we're gonna go pop these back in the water. So this is something else I love about this beach. So I mean, this is typically what happens when the tide goes out. It starts sucking all of the sand off the shells and exposing them all. But it's creating like these big tide pools, which is really fun. You can see, I don't know if you can see her down there, but Tracy's down there lost in the fog again, but like really enjoying finding things that are sunken into the, the tide pool. But give you another little view of the beach this morning. So you can see where we are. And let's keep shelling. So as you know, I'm like obsessed with the blue shells, but there are some really cool lighter ones here too. If you're into that. If you're into the lighter colors. Really cool beigey shells as well. How nice that looks. So this is another thing that Kim so kindly sent me in a package recently. But they have like fused oyster shells here. So they're like all fused together in clumps. And this is the first one I have found myself. But I do have some in my collection because Kim has been so kind and sent me some samples from this area. Which totally got me intrigued, which is why we are here. Ooh, shark eye square. Like there are shark eyes. A bunch of them here. So look at this one. Wow. Clean this up. There's like it's like I hit this little pocket and there's a bunch of shark eyes down here. I'm gonna try to clean it up as best as possible. Look at that beautiful and it's in great condition has a little attempted drill hole there from another predatory snail there's another one here has a couple slipper limpets living on it so we'll leave it here for those slipper limpets to continue living on grab the fused oyster grab the fused oyster shell that we found shark eye there's a couple other things I saw over here that were interesting Another shark eye here. These black scallops, like I can't get enough of them. It's like a buffet of shells this morning. And check out this rock line. It just goes all the way down the beach and there's new stuff washing up. Where, where are they? Lost in the fog down there. Kim and Tracy are down there. So new stuff. So I'm on the upper rock line looking through the stuff that washed up during the last tide and they are down there collecting the new stuff that's coming in. Another thing I'm collecting today are these really cool surf clams with these really nice patterns and markings on them. Look, another broken piece of whelk. Awesome, awesome beach day. Look at all of this salty goodness.
Okay, just one more thing before we head out. This is a blue muscle shell. And they are so different here. They're like violet. Look at that purple in that shell. I have never seen anything quite like that before. Look at all of that color. But yeah, the blue mussels are purple here. Color is spectacular. We didn't find a lot of these, but the ones that we did are definitely purple like this. That purpley plum color. Another cool thing I just wanted to show everyone. Where did you find that? In the rocks where I never walked. <laughs> That's crazy. That's where I found the ones yesterday. That is nice. Yeah, so that's where I found them yesterday. Right in the rocks. May I see? Of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. did you find? She just oh. found this in the rocks. Oh, you crazy one. <laughs> Look at this, though. I found. Oh, I love that. Oh, you did find a basket well. Yeah, I just found it in this. It's just awesome. Yeah. Cool. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous.